players in the construction industry remain optimistic that their businesses will continue to grow despite surging costs of raw materials. Michelle Rosa tells us what these companies are doing to stay afloat. The high cost of oil and metals, as well as other raw materials used in construction, is a phenomenon that has slowed, if not stunted, growth in the construction industries all over the world. Here in the Philippines, the construction sector posted a growth of only 8.3% in the second quarter of the year, a sharp drop compared to the 37% in the same period last year. This is why a building and construction trade exhibit called the ManilaCon 2008 was conceptualized in a bid to look beyond the crisis and into other opportunities still existing for the beleaguered sector. Industry players say the show must go on. They believe the construction business will continue to grow, albeit at a slower pace. As an exhibition organizer, our role is to put forward our corporate social responsibility and to think through beyond the fads and the trends. So sustainable uh, development in the built uh, environment is our theme, but we're also providing, as you say, a sense of optimism as well as putting together people in the industry so that when we wave through this so-called crisis, then everybody is ready. Both local and foreign construction companies gathered at the exhibit to express their support for the construction industry. Although they admit that times have been tough, especially in the last few months, they stress that demand is still there as construction remains a vital component of the economy and the lives of people. Very optimistic kami kasi marami nasa pipeline ngayon. And uh, our customers are very positive sa amin. Uh, and they themselves even... Uh, parang ginagaranti nila, ginagaranti nila that the projects are coming and continuing despite all these increases, despite all these uh, setbacks sa uh, presyo, as a uh, setback sa ating economy. Some companies even managed to maintain double-digit growth through the period. Edgardo Bravo, marketing director of Bloom, a kitchen supplies manufacturer, says the key strategy is to maintain the quality of their products and to offer time-saving and cost-cutting solutions for the customer. Ang growth namin is continuous. Ang, ang pag-elevate niya. Sabi ko, not less than 35%. Then, na, na, number two na consideration kasi namin dyan, kasi since na ang products namin is high-end, so sabi namin, satisfied customer, nakikreate ng opportunity. Kasi nga sabi ko, we are not just selling hardware, we are selling solution and technology. For Edison Orbiano of Charter Chemical and Coating Corporation, they need to be creative and to keep introducing new products into the market in order to survive these trying times. It has always been innovation. Our company has been known uh, as an innovator. That's why even if uh, there's a slump in the construction industry, we make sure that people will look for us because of our innovative products. According to data from the National Statistics Office, prices of construction materials moved up at a faster pace in July alone, particularly for steel products, which rose the highest during the month. Industry players are one in hoping that prices would taper off soon. But even if prices stay high for a time, they are confident that continued demand will allow the sector to stay afloat. Michelle Rosa, ABS-CBN Business. Coming up, Sony pulls out its VAIO laptop computers. Plus, Camarino Source Pancit Bato is now an export quality product. Stay tuned.